Hi, just a little quick one. Nothing special, nothing about machine shop, nothing about the machining operations or whatnot. It's more about something I would like to do and I would like to get some feedback on. Now, I've been making videos for several years, but for many of those years I was making videos in French. Because I was teaching in a French community college in Ottawa, Ontario, and I am French-Canadian. And doing what I did was never much of a problem because I was making those videos for my students. It was a way for me to help them study and prepare for their shop class even if they couldn't physically be in the shop at any given time because they could only be in the shop when I was there obviously for safety reasons. So this way, the day before a shop class, well, they could study what they had to do, remember what they'd seen the week before, and get ready for what was coming up. And this worked just great, because in a way, it was just a supplement to what I had already done. I had already done these demonstrations in class. It was just to remind the students of what they would have to perform. And it was a supplement to what they'd learned in their theory classes. So I never had a problem with this. It was a great plus thing. Then I started to translate some of my videos and produce brand new videos in English because I am fluently bilingual, I think, or completely bilingual because I massacre both English and French. Regardless how you want to look at it, I felt like doing some of my videos in English. And now that I've just put out my 14th or 15th video, I realize that there is a problem. The people who are looking at these project and operation based videos aren't getting the theory classes that comes with them, that normally my students at the community college would have gotten. As an example, let's just say that I just put out a video on centering parts in a four-jaw chuck on a lathe. I put that video out because I want to put out another video about the hammer head, which is the fourth video in the series of positioning hammer videos that I was producing. And the head being of square section and having to be mounted in a four-jaw chuck, well, I thought it'd be a good time to get a short video out on centering parts in a four-jaw chuck. What not? Not very important. What's missing in this is the explanation of why it's important to use a four-jaw chuck. When should I use a four-jaw chuck comparatively to a three-jaw chuck? When should I use a three or four jaw chuck comparatively to when I should use a collet chuck? When should I turn parts between centers? And I realize that I may touch here and there on these subjects, but it's never explained. And since I want to produce videos to help beginners, novice machinists, either in their classes that they're taking to help them understand or just because they're home machinists that are starting out, they've bought themselves a small lathe, a combination lathe mill or a small mill or both, I need or I feel that I should be explaining these things. So I was thinking about producing half hour videos, maybe about 20 of them, that would represent my first and second semester theory classes. And what I would like to know is, is there anyone out there interested in this? It's not because I want money. It's not because I'm going to sell it. I just make the videos. I put them here and I hope people enjoy them and I hope that it helps. But I'd like to know, is it something that could be interesting to people out there? Now out there, there's guys like Keith Fenner, Ox Tools, uh, Tubal Kane, my Ford boy. These are people who produce great videos about projects and how to do different operations. And I don't have the equipment and I'm not sure I have the talent to even come close to what they're doing. But one thing I do know is I can help beginners and that is what I most enjoy in life. So if it's something that's interesting to you, let me know. You can go on my webpage at thatlazymachinist.com and there's a contact me page on that website. Or you can just write me at thatlazymachinist at 
gmail.com. Okay? Or you can even comment on this video. So whatever. If you feel like you'd like it, let me know. And remember, machining is supposed to be fun. So happy machining.